Alright, some of you guys know that the new iPhone can connect to, or tether. You know, that's one of the options of the new iPhone 3.0 software. And since some people are having a problem with the Bluetooth connection, I'm going to show you how to fix that. It's a pretty easy fix, but let me show you how to do this. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the, I'm going to enable tethering on my iPhone. Um, right here I'm using a, a VNC program. I have my iPhone unlocked. You do not need to have your iPhone unlocked for this fix to work. And it will work on all uh, all unjailbroken or anything. Okay, So I'm going to go down to general here. Network. I'm going to enable my tethering. Okay, I'm going to turn my Bluetooth on. I didn't have my Bluetooth turned on. Okay. So now it's turning the tethering on. Okay, now that's enabled. Okay, so let's throw that out of the way. I'm going to connect to my iPhone. So I got to set up a Bluetooth device here. Yeah, we're going to go mobile phone. Searching for it. There it is. It's my iPhone. Got to click continue. All right, I gotta type that number in on my phone. You can see over here that's what I'm doing. All right, got that typed in. Click connect. All right, and then you see that little button, use devices network port. That's one thing you definitely want to do. All right, so now it's connected and whatnot. Uh, now, some people may not have a Bluetooth connection right now, even though you think you would. Okay, one thing you got to do um, is you got to go to your network connections. If you have Wi-Fi or whatever on your computer, you can do it through your Wi-Fi panel. You go to Open Network Preferences. Since not everybody does, I'm going to do it through my Apple button, System Preferences, um, and then we got to go to Network. Okay, now you're going to have Bluetooth and Bluetooth Pan. Now, if you've done every all this stuff before and your Bluetooth doesn't work with tethering, delete both of these connections. Okay. Now you're going to add them back again. Bluetooth Pan. You can rename it back to whatever you like. I just take off the extra numbers there. And then go scroll down to Bluetooth. And do that. All right. Now you have two new connections you created. Okay, we're gonna. Sh I'm gonna show you this right here. Now I'm gonna go to here and say connect to the network. See up here, my connection is enabled. It says internet tethering is on, and now I got a new IP address. So now I do have internet tethered through my iPhone. And that's all you gotta do. You just gotta delete those two connections and add them back in again. You can go here and you should have an IP address. Even though it doesn't say I do. I do. Alright, you guys have a great day and it was uh, fun showing you how to do this.